Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Antipsychotic drugs, and we are talking about its actions. So first, we'll look at the dopaminic pathways. So the first one is the nigrostriate. Nigrostriate. So under the nigrostriate, the significance is that it is concerned with the movement. So it is concerned with the movement and the action drug action of the drug which blocks the D2 receptors that is the extra pyramidal symptoms so it involves the extra pyramidal symptoms next is what we look at is the mesolimbic so we will look at the mesolimbic so mesolimbic the significance is that it deals with the speech and the grasp of reality so there is involvement of the speech also the grasp so there is grasp of the reality so the grasp on the reality then comes the mentation as well as the mood is what is concerned so mentation as well as the presence of mood so the action of the drug blocking the d2 receptors so what it does is it reduces the positive symptoms of the schizophrenia so reduces the schizophrenia positive symptoms positive symptoms next we move on to the mesocortical So mesocortical means it is associated with the motivation, pleasure and the socialization. So motivation, pleasure as well as the socialization. So this is the action that blocks the drug, the action of drug blocking the D2 receptors. What it does is it may increase the negative symptoms of, so negative increase, negative symptoms increase and this is of the schizophrenia. So in mesolimbic, it was a reduction in the positive symptoms, whereas in mesocortical, it will be the increase in the negative symptoms of schizophrenia. Next, what we have is a tubero infundibular pathway. So there is a tubero, tubero infundibular. So tubero infundibular pathway. So in terms of the tubero infundibular pathway, it inhibits the prolactin. So there is inhibition of the prolactin release. So inhibition of the prolactin release. Then comes the action of the drug blocking the D2 receptors. So what blocks the D2 receptors? So here it is a hyperprolactinemia. Hyperprolactinemia. Prolactinemia. Then we move on to the chemoreceptor trigger zone. So here in the chemoreceptor trigger zone, chemoreceptor trigger zone. So the chemoreceptor trigger zone, the significance is, is it is associated with the vomiting reflex. So vomiting reflex is what it is associated with. And the action drug of blocking the D2 receptors is it is antiemetic. It is antiemetic. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.